Leave J Lo alone. I'm tired of it, y'all. Good <laughs> God, bullies. Like, what is happening with that? I don't understand. Like, I, I keep hearing like J Lo's name pop up. And if y'all watched her her movie or her documentary that just came out, no, I refuse because oh, no. it looked dumb. I, I, I I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't even watch it because it looked dumb. I was like, nope. Uh, I've seen a lot of clips of it, and it it is very cringe. Oh, really? Yes, it looks what? cringe. Why? <laughs> it's just like a musical rendition of her life or something like that. Yeah, and then in her documentary, it, everybody's been saying, and like from the clips that I've seen, it was, she's like really pushing her and Ben being like super in love to the point to where it's like you can tell she's acting or something. Oh, well, she is an actor. So Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put a past her. So is know. it like, dir like directed from herself? Like she produced it or something? Like is it like? I think she produced it. I think. I'm yeah, not I think the sure. move. Yeah, the little movie music video thing. Yeah, I think she did. She paid for like all that and lost a lot of money. I think. Like oh. I don't think it's doing too good. And but then the documentary people who worked on the documentary with her have been coming out saying, "Oh, it's like super fake. Like they redid." certain lines over and over and over again like a part about like her hair where she was like oh i used to run around the block with my hair like this all the time people she came out with hot came out that she went to high school with that said she had short hair when she was in high oh. school they were like so her hair would have never looked like that and second uh people who worked on the thing said that she had to redo that scene in the documentary like 30 times until she like felt right about it Oh my god. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back to the broadcast uh today we're talking about jojo siwa and this topic is from eva because i she wanted to talk about it i saw yeah, it. I, wanted to talk <laughs> I wanted to talk shit. <laughs> well here's the thing i saw so much of my timeline i was like i don't care i don't care but then we were coming up to recording, and I'm like, what are we talking about, guys? And uh, Eve was like, okay, let's talk about this. I was like, okay, well. <laughs> she put it together. All right, yeah. So you blame it on me. All yes. right, that's fine. Yes, so, yes. Cool. You get okay. the blame. <laughs> All right, so JoJo Siwa has rebranded. As a Paul brother. <laughs> <laughs> it, is it a Paul brother, or is it, like, That's she's trying to be, like, like, a pop kiss? What is she doing? Yeah, well, yeah. I always just kind of thought she she was just a Paul brother. She's annoying like them. I feel like she's always, like, she's just too much energy. Like, way too much for me. Yeah, overreaction about everything, isn't it? Like, it's just, it's yeah. over the top. But I think that's just how she was raised. Like, she was doing, like, dance moms when she was, like, nine or something or six. I can't remember I, her age. Well, I beg to differ because I was in pageants my whole life. I was in competition dance my whole life. And mm -hmm. I don't think I turned... Did I turn out like that? Wait a minute. Am I just discovering something about myself and I didn't know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think you're that performative, but like, I, I, I don't know. I don't really know you well enough or in real life. So you know. The, yeah, I feel. I, I feel like I'm not like JoJo Siwa, so that can't be why she's that annoying. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, just, wanna... just replace all the glitter with clown makeup, and you might have some close, some sort of close resemblance. But... All I want to say oh, is, crap. whoever told her that look was a good move, they should be fired. Right. Yeah. yeah. All she did was move away from rainbows to black and white. There's still all these rhinestones. There's still all this yeah. sort of performative. The glitter sort of... in her hair. Yeah. That, I feel like that's got to be so itchy. Every time I see that, I like, uh, it makes me have full body shivers because you know it, it's itchy. <laughs> I have no idea what she's doing. I really don't know what she's doing. <laughs> okay, right. so we have this tweet here. And it says, you're telling me Karma by Jojo Siwa was meant for Miley Cyrus originally, but because there was swear words, 
Disney scrapped it and gave it to Brit Smith in 2012. And it never got released because Brit disappeared before releasing the song. And now JoJo is lying about writing the song. Okay, first of all, mm-hmm. first question. Where has JoJo said she's wrote the song? Yeah, I've looked at so oh, many videos you, and so many clips. And I have not seen anything about her saying, literally saying that she wrote the song. There is implications yeah. Had hands in a lot of things, but like, like creatively. Yeah, I think I and... saw a clip of her specifically saying that she bought the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she bought the song. She may have. Yeah. She possibly could have switched around some words. Okay, I don't know, but I do not see where she said she wrote the song. This is the effect of her being connected to Colleen Ballinger. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. because people are going to jump on Twitter. And come up with wild stuff. Right. Yeah. Like, there is... there. I get why there is a lot of hate directed towards her. But, like, the two things don't coincide with each other. Like, it's not something that is a result of something else, you know? So it's kind of like, give her a fair go. Like, I want her to have some sort of success. Even if she's a little bit cringe to me. But, like... Ah. Oh, dude. Yeah. I mean, listen, I get hating on her because she backs up Colleen and stuff like that. I get it. But don't don't make up stuff. Because quite honestly, I don't see where she says she wrote the song. And I'm nice. seeing a lot of people saying that. And I'm like, where did she say that? Now, if it pops up that she does say that, okay. I'll be like, okay, y'all right. She said it. But I haven't seen mm-hmm. it. So. Yeah. yeah. Or the people there saying is- she stole it. Like, no, Yeah, she, she didn't she steal it. She it. bought it. Yeah, they're taking yeah. liberties with how that she got it, for sure. Well, yeah. That's how a lot of those T-Channel people work. All right, so mm. this next tweet, it says, Brit Smith spoke about her version of Karma, released by JoJo Siwa this year, and that it was written with Miley Cyrus in mind. And I got the whole interview here. So. Is Brit Smith somebody people know? Like, am I just missing something? Did I miss her? Is she somebody? She... She, I guess so. Like this because I never of heard of her, but people keep throwing her name around like we're all supposed to know her. And I'm like, who is she? Yeah, no, no I don't yeah. know her. Either. I think she released like a couple of songs. Like I think she tried to collaborate with Timberland at some point, and then oh. she just dropped off the face of the earth. I'm pretty sure. So I haven't got huh. a clue. Yeah. Okay, so she wasn't anybody big. Okay. No, no, I didn't go anywhere for her. All right, let's go. It's Smith, thank you so much for joining us here at Page Six today. Thanks for having me. Now, it's funny because if people haven't heard the name Brit Smith, they are definitely about to, especially if they go down a TikTok rabbit hole right about now because you seem to have something a little common with Jojo Siwa, the song Karma that's out. Now, from what I understand, you actually recorded this song back in 2012? Yes, yeah, back in 2012. So it's a shock to me that it's got a new life, which is amazing. But yeah, with um, Rock Mafia back in the day, it was supposed to be my first single. Um, and just sort of things changed and I went with provocative, um, instead. And, and again, you have no say on what you can do. Mm -hmm. Cause she wanted that song. Yeah. Yeah. And they decided no, you know, that's how it works. Shouldn't have done that really. We should have gone with karma. That was my first choice, but label things got in the way and I kind of was led um, in that direction and we went with provocative and then I left the industry after that um, and so it hasn't seen the light of day until now. Which and is- it, so it's an unreleased video which actually it kind of has been released because like I said it's on TikTok it's on YouTube people have been seeing it yeah. they've been playing it they've been checking it out I saw that Timbaland was in it too. Yeah. How did yeah, you that, that one? So we had just started talking about working together um, and I was just talking with different producers at the time to, to write with. I went in with Rock Mafia um, to meet with them to write and they played me uh, Karma. And I heard it, they had said, oh, you know, this was actually, I, I think what they had said was this was with, written with Miley Cyrus in mind, um, but she had passed on it, I think. And so um, they said- I Yeah, because Miley was with Disney still at that point. And mm-hmm. Disney's not gonna put out a song that says that. No, yeah, with the swear words in it, they'll mm-hmm. be like, no, they want to change everything around if there was anything like that was released. But exactly, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, give it a shot recording it, and I did it, and they liked my version. And then because I was in talks with Timbaland at the time, we said, why don't we just start with this one? You can produce this, and then we'll do more together. Um, and that's what happened. He produced that, and then we shot the video, and then 
actually it took a few months because all of the video was done in post-production with this illustration of the church and everything in the background. And in that time I recorded Provocative and the label um, thought that that was the better first single. So we shifted gears and um, went with Provocative and then yeah, Karma just sort of took a back seat at the time. Now, did you do so any? I, and now it's blowing up as a meme. Well, her song mm. blowing up, but jo oh god. Okay, can we talk about JoJo Siwa's video for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go on. <laughs> <laughs> that video, it looks like it was done at a high school stage. Yeah, I didn't understand that. What? like the concept of the whole video and i watched it twice just to see like okay did i just zone out the first time no, I, okay the concept, I, the be concept? I believe the concept <laughs> is is the one girl was cheating on her and she ended up with another girl i believe um i believe that's the concept because you saw them fight dancing on the beach and she kind of threw her away yeah you know? i didn't I, I, it's I, all I just so distracting oh. It is. I didn't get a thing. Like, I watched it a couple of times as well, and I'm like, wait, who's this girl? Why is she mad at her? Why is she smelling at her now? Yeah. Why is Jojo Siwa jumping off backwards off a boat? Yeah, like, I don't, is she I humping didn't... everybody? What's going on? Yeah, ah! she was, like, aggressively humping a lot of she people, is, wasn't she? She's, yeah. She is doing a lot of aggressive humping. It's like, girl, what are you yeah. doing? It was just a humpathon. That's all I got out <laughs> of it. Yeah. It looks like it looks like an interpretive dance that was done on a high school stage. It was horrible. I'm like, girl, yeah, what? Yeah. It was oh. kind of embarrassing to watch. Yeah, I feel like everybody being done up like figure skaters or whatever she was going for it was like way too distracting for like everything. Like like Ava said, like I couldn't I couldn't grab anything from it because I was so distracted by all the glitter. <laughs> it was it, it it's so low budget looking which okay listen if that was the artistry of it okay whatever that's fine it's not me it's hers but i just i, I watched it with my mouth gaped open like what is this what yeah. is this the part where I was went, what the hell is this was when like she came out of the ocean looking like a lizard like i just yeah. thought was, like Ah! Like, what's this lizard girl doing on an island now? And then she started dry humping more people. So it's kind of like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh I don't know. It was all oh, that. Whole... Okay. Anyway. All right. Back to this. Back to this. I'm sorry. I just, <laughs> I had an ADHD moment going, okay, we need to talk about that video real quick. Oh, yeah. It's bad. Oh, Jojo. My God. <laughs> Writing behind this song, because I know that you did say that they played the song for you. So I'm assuming yeah, no. it was pre-written. Right. I had gone in to meet with Rock Mafia to write together and they played me this as some songs that they were working on at the time. And I was like, oh, my God, no, I, I really love this. I would love to try it. Um, and so that's how that's how it happened. You know what's so crazy? A lot of fans are saying that you did the song better than Jojo. What are your thoughts on that? That's very nice of them to say. I'm just I feel like it's just a testament to how strong the song is itself, that it stood the test of time um, 12 years later. And uh, I'm going to be honest. I, mm. I'm going to be very honest here. Yeah. I look at both the songs the same. As far as the actual song, not video, exactly. but the actual song, I just don't like the song. The I, song sucks. Thank, thank you, Bunny. Thank you. Yeah, both <laughs> versions. I didn't like either one. I don't like either one of them. It's I like, didn't like either I videos either. The other video was horrible too. Like I don't know why everybody's saying that hers was any kind of okay. better. Okay. Well, well, wait a minute now. I will say her <laughs> video was better than JoJo's video. I mean, I guess it felt like one of those like you go to the mall and get a music video made. Kind well, of things, true, but... it was, but <laughs> yeah. at least there wasn't like aggressive humping going on all around. Oh the place. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm you know you're gonna walk down the street and all of a sudden JoJo Siwa is gonna pop out behind a bush and aggressively hump. I mean, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> she My, could be anywhere. I, she could. <laughs> JoJo Siwa can be anywhere. I'm just happy that people no, are no, hearing JoJo. it and liking it. Nice. Do you think JoJo did it justice? Um, yeah, I think, you know, it's it's nice to hear different interpretations <laughs> of it. Um, I was, you know, attached. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, <laughs> shade. Shade. <laughs> shade. To my version, but it's nice to hear. hear um, now, are you, are you still currently putting out music? Is there something that we can listen to? Or have you given up on the whole music scene? Well, I had kind of given up. I gave it a lot of time in my life. Um, and I now uh, work at Color Wow, hair company. But I oh, with Chris Appleton. Yes, yes, exactly. Yep. <laughs> Very cool. Um, 
Yeah, but I feel like it, this has given me new life a little bit and, and I'm inspired by all the comments that people are, are writing to me saying they'd like to hear more. So um, I do have lots of songs that I've written. Oh, girl. Mm. <laughs> oh, girl. It's don't, a trap. Listen. Run away. Don't let these people. Okay, listen, I'm not trying to be mean. I think anybody at any age or any time can do whatever they want. And if she feels the yeah. need that she wants to sing, go for it. But what it is right now is you're dealing with a lot of JoJo haters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these JoJo haters, they will turn around and it, well, I'm not saying them particularly, but what haters in general normally do is they boost somebody up to do something and then they end up dropping them. Well, you know yeah. What I'm like, cause imagine what would happen if she did go by like what everyone's saying. It's like, oh, please release some music, blah blah blah. And then she would go ahead and release some music, and she'll, oh, she's only doing it because JoJo was in the spotlight, and now she wants to take it back. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, you know, it's gonna. Everyone's gonna turn. The again. internet. Like, the internet uh, turns on you so quickly. Yeah. Yeah. If her other music is anything like that Karma song, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's twelve years old. Like it's. It's it well, literally feels she's... like a 2010 music. Like, it's it does. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. It's definitely 2010. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so it's kind of making me question, like maybe I should, you know, jump back in a little bit. I think you should use this opportunity to capitalize on and start putting some stuff out because obviously all eyes are on you right now. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know that JoJo hasn't addressed this yet, so it will be kind of interesting if and when she does, because I would love to hear her take on this as well. But Rit Smith, yeah. thank you so much for joining us here at Page. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay. Thank both of you. So we have this here. It says, JoJo Siwa, Billboard interview for Karma. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made in my generation this extreme of a switch. Okay, now, she saved yeah. it. She saved that statement. Because when she, the first part of this statement, I almost blew up in my brain. Going, no yeah. one has made this dramatic of a change yet. Excuse me? Let's Girl, talk about yeah, Miley Cyrus for a second. Yeah. yeah, she was Hannah. And then turns out she was actually Molly. Like, Get over no, it's not that. When Miley oh. Cyrus went on her own and she went through that arc where it was all about smoking weed and the J's yeah. and stuff like that. The salvia. Yeah. The bangers. The bangers period. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made, in my generation, <laughs> this extreme of a switch. And I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but someone's got to do it. Girl, oh, stop. Girl, stop. Stop it. Oh, I feel like such a hater right now. This is horrible. Honestly, she's one of those people I just straight up don't like her face and I can't help it. <laughs> like, I, it's, it's nobody's fault. Mm, you know, it's, <laughs> the whole thing to me just feels so forced. It's, it's like it's thank you. It, yes. it doesn't feel natural. It, it feels so unnatural. Like with with Miley in particular, like hers was like literally it was such a gradual progression from like people knowing her as like the Disney girl then to her just going okay, I'm I'm done with this. I can't do what the labels and yeah, what um, okay. the television shows are doing anymore. Like I wouldn't say it was gradual though. Um, with Miley, I, think... I wouldn't say it was gradual because when Miley uh, came out with that J song and then she started going through the whole bangers thing, people mm -hmm. were looking at Miley going, what is wrong with Miley Cyrus? Yeah, that is true. When she humped that foam finger, everybody lost oh, their minds. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, no. It's kind of meaning like more gradual from Hannah Montana to like in her mm -hmm. own identity because like she it took her a couple of songs to be able that to be like true. Miley Cyrus yeah. instead of going oh that's Hannah Montana you know so yeah yeah so she did go through her being in movies like right after Disney she was in a bunch of like Nicholas Sparks movies or something can't remember what mm -hmm. it was but yeah she kind of went through that phase and then she kind of. Went to another, and then she went into the bangers. Yeah, yeah but the bangers. Right away. Like, but bang, my my yeah. point is, the bangers was a shock, and people like even at one point, I was looking at Miley, going, "Oh my God, she really is becoming one of those quintessential Disney kids that when they leave Disney, they go crazy." But it makes sense what Miley did because Miley did mm -hmm. that to get away from Disney. 
Yeah. 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 She was because now look a, at her. Yeah, she was putting a giant foam finger up at him. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And to me, in my opinion, she was the right amount of trashy when she went through her I agree. Uh, like, I, I, I feel like, it. yeah, it was. I did too. It was a very specific kind of trashy that I dig. I like. I can tell you now, Wrecking Ball to this day, that is one of the songs that I cannot sing with because I'll start crying. I know. I'll automatically oh, start person. crying if I try to sing the song with. Like, I can hear the song, and if I get, if I get, if I really listen to the lyrics, I'll start crying. Or if I try to sing to it, I'll start crying. Yeah. 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 It was such a magical song. That one. Yeah, no, it was a really good song. All right, so we have a tweet here by Viral Things that's showing her talking to TMZ. I got to ask you about the gay pop. Yes. A lot of people have come for you. Do yeah. you? Yeah, like she wa- she's going to start gay pop. JoJo Siwa. Yeah, she wants All to invent gay. a new genre. Yep. JoJo Siwa, <laughs> I don't know if you know this. But when, when she first made that statement, I was like, does she not know anything about music? Oh, it feels like it, right? It absolutely feels like it. Like pop, she, like pop has always been pushed by the LGBTQ, always. Yeah, and they've always been friendly towards uh, that group of people. Always. How yeah. is she going to invent gay pop? Like what? That was so. I felt like it was so disrespectful when she said that. Oh, do you retract what you said? Have what? you have you? Why lo- did come for you for that? Literally, what should I do? Here's the thing: I'd be like, I support world peace, and the world would be like, you. But um, a lot of people are saying that there was a lot of icons that have come before you. So many, so many. Gosh, I saw um, even Betty Who made a post being like, "Hey," and I'm literally friends with Betty. Like I, Madonna, Lady Gaga, Michael Jackson. There's so many people. Who have made gay pop? I think I just I'm I more so want to make it like. Can you clarify that statement? Clarify that statement. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. Oh my uh, god. Okay. Uh, ah. I get one time and not mess this up. <laughs> no matter what the line of the world's gonna twist it, turn it, make it anything. So, I think I just want to make it more clear that gay pop is a genre. You have pop. You have rock. You have country, and you have gay pop. Stop. Stop. Oh, pop's gay. I, stop. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Oh, my, I hate this so much. <laughs> if I said to somebody, name a gay pop artist, they'd go, what's gay pop? But if I said to somebody, name like, a rock artist, you would say, quit kiss, ACDC. You know what I mean? I think... What were you going to say, Eva? Mm-hmm. No, like, I, I, you can live... It, it's it's self-defined when you say gay pop. It's like you know exactly what they mean when you talk about that. You go, oh, yeah, queen. You know, like, it's just like... <laughs> it just boggles my mind that she just doesn't think outside of her own little bubble when she says things. Like, I think that's so... exactly what she's doing. Yeah. 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 The gays oh. are the backbone of pop, period. Uh-huh. Yes, 100%. <laughs> 100%. You know, it's like, wow. I think they'd say Lady Gaga. I think they'd say Chapel Roan. They'd say Freddie Mercury, Elton John. Okay, that's valid. Okay, first of all, <laughs> don't be putting Freddie Mercury in there with pop music, okay? Freddie Mercury did uh, rock music. Thank you very much. Don't, it ain't yeah. pop. That was rock and roll. They did rock. That Bottom Girls was not for the gays. Okay, that was a great <laughs> song. Can we talk? That, that song, Fat Bottom Girls was an amazing song. <laughs> That's a good song. Oh, I, I really love that song. That. That's a damn good song. Because I would too. I would too. I'd be like, no, Elton John. Do you want to go back on your statement and say that you're you weren't the inventor of gay pop? I definitely am not the inventor of gay pop, for sure not. But I do want to be a piece in making it bigger than it already is. Okay. Bring. I want to bring more attention to it. Okay. I'm not the creator. But I'm I'm not the president, but I might be like the CEO or the like CMO. Okay. Oh, I'm the CMO oh, okay. the <laughs> No girl. No girl. She's uh-uh. lost the... She's... <laughs> she's lost the plot. She's lost the plot. I just I don't know, my... she's so far up her own butt, man. I just can't yeah. even understand how she thinks she's right up there with like those people. Like, yeah. How many carabiners does she even have on her right now? Like, I, 
She I don't know. I ain't worried about all that. I am not worried about all that. <laughs> I like I'm that. My marketing tactics, whether people like it or not. I think that's fair. All right, I'm the CMO the of gay pop. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so it says here, TMZ also should have asked her, what is the controversy about you stealing a TikToker called M... Oh, Emeline Esme song it's back... Emeline is me. Okay, thank you. Oh. Um, song back from two, 2022, and you claim it is about your ex-girlfriend, which implies you made the song. That does not imply she made the song. Mm. She could say... You, I, how many songs have you gone through in life you're like, yeah, that's about my ex-boyfriend? Or that's about my... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's about my ex. You know what I'm saying? I... What? Yeah, but that's a total lie. Like to. And I'm not going to play it because of the music. All right. It's really sad that you can't play it because when you when you listen to it, right, go go find it and listen to it. Um, but, it like, she plays a song at the start and then it goes to Jojo Siwa playing the song at her, um, at her release party. And they sound identical. Like, it sounds like this girl... Like, they just took, lifted her actual song and claimed it was Jojo Siwa singing it. Like, huh. I just, I, I, I can't pick that it was Jojo singing it at all. It doesn't sound like her singing it. It sounds exactly huh. like the original. Okay, but we need to figure out if she actually stole it or did she mm. buy it or, well, did, or is she claiming that she wrote it? Well, that's the thing. Like, the... In this TikTok, there's actually someone that explains that um, this woman um, is going to do a story time about it soon because apparently that it was a song that she had mm -hmm. and um, she didn't know that it was going to be um, given to Jojo Siwa. Um, but did so she it sell really... it to somebody to like... I think... Uh, oh, I can't remember exactly, but it is in this in this TikTok, so. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I can't play the TikTok, ma'am. Uh, you can't even just go to where the guy is. Now this is the TikToker that she stole a song from and you might be thinking, well, maybe they worked together on the song. But she responded to this in a recent comment saying, hi, 2024 fans, I'm going to make a story time soon. I actually didn't sign off on it coming out with Jojo, not her fault. If my version gets love, I can still put it out after hers. Thanks for the support. So the girl herself said not her fault. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it sounds like there's some kind of stipulations on when she can release her, so it sounds like she did sell it in yes. some way. Or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that means that JoJo didn't steal it, and even if the woman is saying not her fault. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I, I, so don't think, I don't think people understand the music industry. Even I don't no. understand, but, but you understand <laughs> this. You, there is a lot of things those artists don't have a say. Yeah. And not just that, somebody's not just going to steal something. I mean, my God, everybody's going to find out. So why, she didn't steal it. That's stupid. <laughs> like, I don't know why this creator thinks that she has a hand. Like, I don't, why does she have a hand in signing off on it coming out with somebody, though? That's the thing. Like, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't get that part. Like, was she involved in the writing process? And then, like, it was given to, like, a, a studio, which then sells it on like, then? I, I don't know. But um, I'm going to be looking at her TikTok to see what she says about it yeah. in the future. Because I want to know what's going on with that. Or, yeah. Now, I understand most artists have co-writers or ghost writers that they work with all the time. But for Jojo Siwa to come out and say, hey, I made this song about one of my exes. When the song was made so long ago and you can tell that she had no creative involvement in it is crazy. Did she say she made the song or did she say the song was about her ex? Because I remember watching that part, mm. and I don't remember her saying that she made the song. No, I don't remember no, that I just, either. Yeah, I think she said she ad-libbed something in there, and she was like, I'll point it out when it comes. And it and was ended, like, up, <laughs> ended up nothing, being like a but... whisper, a whisper in between, <laughs> um, like, uh, like, I don't even remember what the whisper was, but it was like in between lyrics. Was, Thank she you. Said, yeah. Like, listen, if you're going to yeah. hate on JoJo Siwa, hate on the things that, okay, the look, absolutely horrible. But stop making yeah. up all this stuff that she stole stuff. Even the girl herself said it's not JoJo's fault. Right. Yeah. Stop trying to, oh God, this is, this is why I hate 
haters so bad because mm-hmm. they will nitpick anything and start making stuff up. Yeah. Right. I hate it. So go check out the original creator and watch the video for yourself. I didn't show the full clip because I didn't want to just milk the whole video, but it is an exact match. So honestly, if you're going to show support to anyone, show support to her. But that's my opinion. He's just being a hater, bro. You see? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I grow a better mustache. Yes, grow a better mustache. <laughs> my God. It looks like she kept Laura's kissing. <laughs> and mind you, and mind you, I don't like JoJo Siwa. I don't like how she supports Todrick Hall and how she supports um Colleen Ballinger I don't like those things about her but I'm not gonna yeah. sit here and make stuff up on her either it's called nice. integrity and the thing is that there is like an actual controversy to do with her that like is like a lot not a lot of people know about so um Jojo Siwa had this thing called XOMG pop and she had a bunch of girls in there that was like dancing with her. It was like a little school yeah. that um that she was she was kind of doing. And so they were doing like performances at like a children's and family Emmys and it was hosted by Jojo and all that sort of stuff. There was this girl um who was like um in there when she was younger who was born with spina bifida. Um, which yeah. is like a birth effect of the spinal cords. And, um, like, since she was five years old, she used to have to use a catheter to go to the bathroom and all that sort of, sort of stuff. So it was, like, pretty rough for her. So she, like, got into um, the that group um, and Jessalyn was encouraging her to do a video shoot just weeks after the, she did, like, a spinal cord surgery. And then um, apparently, like the girl started bleeding through her belly button during a rehearsal for that um, Children and Families Emmys. Um, And rather than, like, say, hey, take a break and do that sort of thing, like, JoJo's mum was, like, told her to put a maxi pad on it so it wouldn't leak on her costume and then just continue on doing it. So, like, there's, there's things like that, but that isn't, like, JoJo directly. That's, like, her family, like, being kind of, like, cruel to people with disabilities and then like kind of like she also like shamed them for having disabilities and stuff like that as well people have said that jojo was kind of nasty and domineering and that sort of stuff and she would screen like insults at the girls during performances and all that sort of stuff but like you know i think that's just sort of um that's dance dance moms yeah that's a lot of dance moms coming back and like it's sort of like you get well, I mean, like you get a lot of every dance teacher I have ever had has cussed out every kid like in the in any dance class I've mm. ever taken. Like I mean, especially competition. I'm talking mostly like competition. Oh, yeah. Like there's a lot riding on that, and it, yeah, I. There's a lot of pressure. If they and consider you... that abuse, then I was abused my whole dance career. <laughs> like, yeah, I, it. That's just what it is, though. Like. I don't know. Which is kind of sad, but like you know, it, yeah. it, it does it does feel like the toxicity from like dance moms did kind of bleed through that situation and just like that because that's what she was kind of built on. That's how she grew up with yeah. that sort of interaction with people. So yeah, but yeah, that's that's if you wanted to hate on it for something, that could be something. But I, I don't think this is it. Right. Okay. Um. So she was on call call her daddy podcast. Jojo uh-huh. Siwa, the woman behind the bow. You just watch how many times this woman tries not to cringe. It is hilarious. Like, it's just... <laughs> Good luck. Because <laughs> it is a 180 from Fully. Fully. your whole fucking life, essentially. Fully. Like, did you keep the bows? Like, where are the bows? Are they in a drawer? I They're all at my uh, studio. So I have a studio in Burbank, and we keep everything out there. I have all my archives. When I was eight is when Miley had her bangers moment. This child does not know how to dress. No. Maybe it's just me. No. Maybe I'm just old now. No. No, it's not just you. There is just entirely too much going on. Who wears their own merch? Isn't that a thing with musicians that you don't wear your own merch? I don't know. I've seen I've seen Nikki wear her own merch. I've seen um who else have I seen wear their own merch? Someone else recently anyway. Well, I don't I'm want like, the oh, yeah. barbs to come after me, so I'll keep my mouth shut on that. <laughs> I saw someone say that she reminds them of Tiger King, and it, it's just oh. sticks. With, that just yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna unsee that now. Yeah, that's not that's not <laughs> a bad description actually. 
<laughs> and I was like, all I want is to have that one day. Like, I want that. And honestly, since I was like 15, like my whole like inner circle has been like talking about it and like getting excited for it. And then two years ago is when I started writing new music. Yeah. I got out of my Nickelodeon music contract. I signed a deal with Columbia Records. Mm -hmm. Label has been amazing. And I started doing music. And honestly, we started off like pretty, pretty calm. Like okay. nothing like, nothing like what's out right now. Um, and then I got pitched this song, <laughs> Karma. And it's the first word is, I was a bad girl. And I was like, oh, fuck, it's a good song. I was like, but I can't say that. I can't say I'm a bad girl. I'm not. I'm not. I was 18, fresh off. So she even says here she was pitched the song. Yes. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't mean right. she wrote the song. Oh my God, people irritate me so I'm bad. getting so distracted by a hat, dude. Like, just I mean, take no. it off. Off of my dream, the tour, and I was like, I can't say I, I, I sang every girl's a super girl last week. Like, I can't <laughs> sing I was a bad girl this week, it doesn't work. So then we, I was like, But like, I love the song, so let's try it. Okay, and I was like, We can save it, like, let's just put my voice on it, we can save it. So we did the song, and then I was like, This feels wrong. So then I did a She Was a Bad Girl singing about someone else, put the blame on someone else. <laughs> then I did a You Were a Bad Girl, put the blame on a, another human. <laughs> then we heard all the versions, and nothing hit quite like me being the bad guy. So I was like, okay, we'll leave it at that. We'll find it. We'll find it in a few years from now. And so this point in time, this is this is uh, March 2022. Okay. So I'm thinking music's coming out in July. Like, I got to, like, bust a nut to get this music done, right? Here we are. What we are now at the end of 2020. Here. Bro, she I is. I'm just. <clears throat> she's a favor during. <laughs> I have no clue. I have absolutely <sighs> no clue. I do nothing's come out and I'm like I'm chilling and I come up with this music video idea for karma and I am obsessed with it there is no changing my mind there's also no changing my mind that now this song comes first because if I want my moment this this is my 180 this is my moment talk to me though about the hate because it's mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. if you go on TikTok if you go like there are people being uh -huh. like is Jojo Siwa okay there's comments on mm -hmm. the music like people are really being mean mm -hmm. how they do you are. feel about it like I said, I will never ever claim to be a singer, yeah. but I will claim to be an artist. Okay. I am giving the world art and they might not like it, they might hate it, but they're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And it's become- What? Girl. <laughs> Are they though? Does she not like and enjoy or like, same, same? They may not <laughs> yeah. like it, but they're enjoying it. <laughs> but oh. I can see where she's coming from with that because they're enjoying hating it, you know? And uh, like with art. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. With art, art is subjective. So she's got that kind of point there. Like, you know, some people will like it, some people will hate it, and either way, people are talking about it. So I get yeah. what she's trying to say. Oh, God. Does anyone like it? Well, I don't think I've seen a single person say they like it. I don't know. Like, I've seen a lot of people saying, I can't get it out of my head because it's a bit of an earworm. <laughs> but, like, other than that, I haven't really seen anyone going, Yes, this is a bop. Like, yeah. you know, like, yeah. yeah. I'm a bit of a guilty pleasure for everyone. So when you're sitting with your team and you're sitting in bed and you're reading these comments, like, yeah, it doesn't affect you at all. It does. It does because with Karma, Karma, I'm, I'm so proud of. And I think the music video really does more justice than the song. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, no, ma'am. No, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. The music. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. mm -mm. And once they're together, it's, I mean, it is, it is a work of art. It is sickening. And it is the full 180 moment that I have always wanted. And the fact that people are comparing it to Miley's Bangers moment, like goal achieved. It's like when people were trying to tell me that I was dressing like G Flip, I was like, thank, hallelujah, I did it. Like that was the goal. <laughs> Nailed it. You know what I mean? And I literally got oh on stage with G Flip and I was like, sound the alarms were buying the oversized pants. Uh, I want to bang my, my head <laughs> on my desk until my, until I get knocked out. Literally. Yeah. Like, yeah. See, I love I, G Flip. I hate this comparison as well. I don't even know who that is. She's an Australian singer. Um, she's not, oh, sorry, not she, they. They're non-binary um, and they like do everything. They play the guitar, play the drums, like their music is great. Like it's, a, they're amazing <laughs> artists. But I'm like, I, I, I'm like, how dare she compare herself to G-Flip? Well, apparently people were comparing her to G-Flip, so, ugh. I didn't hear that until she said it. Just no, like I how know, Miley I know. Stuff, I'm just saying from what like... she's saying. From what she's saying. <laughs> mm. Let's cut the arms off the muscle tee. Like, here the frick we go, everybody. Like, full 180. And now, same thing here. It's like, okay, we get to have this moment. Let's have this moment. Like, 
no child star has done this since her and they have had beautiful transitions olivia rodrigo has had one of the most incredible success stories as a musician as a young musician but there was no flip there was no right. like child star flip right. like miley had and i i knew i wanted that i wanted to give the world art why do you well at least she recognized miley was the last one to do this well yeah you think people on the internet have such strong opinions about you because it's fun to it is you know what's funny <laughs> i was thinking about that it's like okay you have madonna britney really <laughs> looked up to madonna and britney you know became britney all right <laughs> and then you had <laughs> miley who number one britney fan and then we had miley coming after that i was wondering who was going to come after miley mm. hmm I no, really so, so was. Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga looked up to Madonna as well, so it was kind of like... Yeah, but I'm it. talking about the generational, as in the per one person looked up the other. Okay? Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you have Madonna, you have Britney looking up to Madonna, and then you have Miley who looked up to Britney. Mm -hmm. And I was yeah. always wondering who was going to be the one to come after Miley, and it might have been JoJo. It might have uh. been JoJo. All this right here might actually be a ruse and she might actually end up better uh, it's possible do you think she's trolling yeah either that or His she's trying being. either that or she's trying to uh change it up so hard that when she goes back to i guess you would say normal it'll be a normal that everybody's like yes i love it kind of like what miley did when yeah. miley got past that bangers the bangers way then everybody's like, oh my god, I, I freaking love her. Where before, they were side-eyeing her during that. Right. You yeah. know? So, I don't know. I, just, I, think, I just think JoJo's trying too hard. Like, she is trying too fashion. hard. She, oh my god, this like, is the very definition of a try-hard. I do almost feel like it is a troll, though. Like, it just seems so over the top that it's yeah. not anything in the realm of, like, this is real. Yeah. No, I get yeah. it. I get. I. I get yeah. what y'all are saying. That I. I do because it. This is. This is too much. It's fun. It is fun for them. My mom told me. She said, "I love you more than anyone in the world. I will not open your comments and comment." She said, "So for somebody to open your comments and comment, they're enjoying it. It's right. fun for them. They're." I am also guilty of when everyone was saying Trisha Paytas was pregnant with the reincarnated queen. I made a TikTok about it because it was hysterical. And then, like, everyone, I was the one that went down in flames of for course. it. Like, everyone was doing it. I was the one that went down in flames for it. Which, fine. Like, yes, it probably was a joke. That it okay, see, that's another thing, too. She has, like, a, 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 oh, God, what is it? Like, a complex of her always yeah. being the one to get called out. Yeah. Because this isn't the first she's time. She's such a bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> they shouldn't have made it. But, like, again, everyone was doing it. Yeah. Jumped on the bandwagon. Shouldn't have. But I've jumped on those bandwagons, too, before. Yeah. And so... What gave me a lot of reassurance yep. was somebody made a video hating, making fun of the dance. Mm -hmm. And I duetted them, mm -hmm. poking at the dance, and they posted another video of them reacting to my duet. And I was like, oh, a day ago you were making fun of it. Now you are screaming around your room, freaking out, crying, because I duetted it. Right. It's like you're kind of just leaning in. Like, if people are going to make fun of you, like, okay, you're still talking about me. I'm guess. having fun. I'm not taking myself that seriously. I told you guys I don't, I'm not considering myself a singer. I'm a performer. I'm an artist. It's, and it's making conversation and it's art and people it is doing exactly what i wanted it to i wanted people's heads to turn i wanted people to go right what right i wanted people you know i have a feeling that she's just saying that to save face i i actually think that she thought it would be different yeah 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 i'm getting that too like she's kind of leaning into it a little bit too hard huh? yeah yeah mm. well to go what did she take honestly what i didn't expect is for people to know every lyric that's been released yeah, okay someone. before we go back to like a little bit more of your childhood we do just have to acknowledge the other moment you just recently went viral well you've been viral a lot lately oh, shit. But which one we're gonna talk about your kid names um <gasps> freddie eddie and teddy oh. okay 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 <laughs> oh my what God. the fuck? <laughs> like i'm sorry but i have to just what how please. did you come up with these names please i and love it what okay i don't care I i'm gonna be honest those I kids will hate her if she oh. names it what'd she say rookie ticky tabby yeah something like that <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have Colleen Ballinger. Ladies yes. And Speaking of hate, dude. All right. All right, <laughs> so she apparently went to the JoJo Siwa um, party. 
Jojo Siwa has a song coming out today called Karma. I don't know if you've heard of it. She hasn't posted about it at all. Her music video is coming out today and it's like a really big, exciting day for her. And she's celebrating tonight with her friends and she invited me to go and I didn't think I was gonna be able to go. I tried really hard to find someone to watch my kids and it just didn't look like it was gonna happen. And then today, Eric was like, you just go. I won't go with you. I'll stay home with the kids. So I'm going to LA by myself and I'm really excited because I'm gonna go to Jojo's release party. I'm also gonna go to my friend Todrick's birthday party and I'm really Oh, that's what? cute. <laughs> that's cute. The two people on the internet that stood up for you, I mean, you might as well go. I mean, you kind of owe yeah, it to yeah. them, just saying. Really excited Hold to them see closer. Them. I haven't been to LA in a really, really long time. I haven't seen my friends in a really long time. We'll talk more about that later. Right now, what I want to do is crush a rock. In the last oh, God, no way. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Girl, your car is a mess, but then again, she's got kids, so. I am so freaking excited to see Jojo and see Tadra. Jojo is one of the sweetest, most genuine, kind people in the whole world. I met Jojo and her mom and Nia and Nia's mom from Dance Moms of so many years ago. What's funny is I actually met them because of Tadra. Tadra was on Dance Moms. I can't even remember the whole situation, how it happened, but... Tadra did a couple of videos with the girls from Dance Moms too. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Todrick was on Dance Moms, and then the girls on Dance Moms said that they liked my Sings. So he invited them to his house when I was there once. So I met the Dance Moms girls, but Jojo and Nia were excluded somehow from that get-together. But one of their moms reached out to me and was like, Hey, they got excluded from meeting you. How can we set up so that we can all meet? So I went out to dinner with Nia and her mom Holly and Jojo and her mom Jess into the Cheesecake Factory. And I kept in touch with Jojo's mom and with Jojo. And over the years, she became like family to my family. She would just come over whenever I had like family functions, like holidays or birthday parties. And I just always thought it was so sweet that this young girl who is a rising star in Hollywood, she could be in Hollywood doing whatever, hanging out with anyone, but she always wanted to go to my little family functions at my house. Any that explains a lot. Mm. Hmm. Actually, yeah. that explains a lot. So that was fun. Anyway, now I feel like I should clarify. I did cry when I was watching Jojo's premiere of her music video. And it's not like I was like, oh my god, this music video is so beautiful. It's bringing a tear to my eye. Prior to the music video starting, she showed a montage of like all of her most iconic music videos. So there's like Boomerang and Kid in a Candy Store, High Top Shoes, which I was in. And I was pregnant with Flynn in that video. So whenever I watch that music video, I'm like, oh my god, Flynn's in this music video. Every Girl's a Supergirl. Like there's like all these different songs, like all these different music videos that she's showing first in like this big montage. And then the countdown to the the actual music video happened and the countdown I'm pretty sure it was the same exact countdown that she used at the beginning of her dream tour show like her live concert and when I went and saw that I cried because I was so proud of her looking around and seeing all these young girls that she was inspiring and motivating to love themselves and be themselves and not care what other people think and don't listen to bullies and haters just be yourself and all these girls like excited to be motivated and sing those oh my god she's just saying words yeah. She's exhausting to listen to. She is. What is Ugh. she even saying? Oh my God. <laughs> types of words, these self-empowering words. So she's thinking of all these things that she's been through over the years and then the music video starts to play and it's this epic, huge, intense music video and the song's a total bop and I know that she's gotten a lot- Is it Colleen? Is it? <laughs> Ugh. Lot of like hate and criticism over this song recently and I was thinking about how there's all these people who are being so freaking cruel to her on the internet but I'm looking around this room at all these people who are there to support her and show her love and cheer for her and scream for her and be proud of her she didn't let all that hate stop her from doing what she does best which is perform and entertain she's not gonna let anyone stop her from doing what she loves and that is so inspiring to me and hopefully to so many people <laughs> so many young girls out there yes go girl I've heard enough See, yeah. to me to me like that just sounds like she's talking about herself yeah you know like <laughs> I, I feel like you can just apply that to anything that she's just gone through like it's 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 oh, I don't I don't like it I feel like she's so fake I feel like after she's gone and done that she would have gone to Todrick's place and then oh she would have gone to Todrick's place and just like absolutely bagged the shit out of her to him like that's yeah. how I feel like she would have done yeah that too. yeah I don't know all right, so we have this TikTok by Tana here. Mm. Uh, good old Tana. And, I, love uh, I need y'all to know that I am in love with Tana. Are you? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I love her. I love her face. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Too close to Shane Dawson for me. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Well, you guys just don't. Take I forgot that about part. that. Yeah. I was a bad girl. <laughs> I'm doing bad things. You think she's ever taken like a perk thirty and like cussed somebody out? <laughs> I mean, Same. I mean, <laughs> exactly. She. That's what I was talking about with the scissoring in the Denny's bathroom. Like, how bad is she? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have uh, Nick Vile, uh, GD and Daisy Kent, and Embracing Haters with JoJo Siwa and Taylor and Travis. And Okay, this this whole title here, bruh. Too long. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Care, but because I am, I'm going to make it exactly. Did you reach out to Miley or any other oh, rock yeah. stars in this space that oh, have yeah. tried to do what you're trying to do? I've talked to a lot of people. Um shocking um that she even looks at her fucking dms but ariana grande has been so supportive so yeah. nice so supportive debbie oh so we're dropping names let's go yeah she drops a lot of names dude Silvato has been incredibly supportive miley has been incredibly supportive what was the best advice you got from any one of those three honestly i i think back to it and i talked to debbie about it a very long time ago and demi told me that it's gonna be harder than I think. And I was like, ah! she was right. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, oh shit, okay. But, um. Yeah, the, right? I mean, just keeping it real, the internet is coming it's brutal. at you. Yeah. Hard. No, they are. We got fucking, fucking TikTokers who. James Charles. James Charles is talking some shit. James texted me. Which, by the way, James Charles, James Charles needs to sit down. I'm just saying. Dude, yeah. have you seen what he did on TikTok mm -hmm. at Coachella? Yeah. He yeah. tried to release another song, and I'm just like, dude, stop it. No. Yeah, why does his face, like, do that when he's... Dustin <laughs> Daly said he had a party city where to go on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> makes a lot of sense. But yes, that's like yeah he texted you no he texted he after text he mocked you so he texted her and he was like do you care if i post this oh okay and he was like do you care if i make a dance video to karma and i was like please do i was like go in like wow. poke fun get you get the deal right. well here's the thing yeah, well good for him for calling i guess yeah. and asking for permission yeah. did, did uh who was the other one tana mojo i mean she just did like yeah I'm, i mean here's the thing about tana tana <laughs> i've loved tana since i was 13 12 and where I'm confused with Tana is I have been not friends with her, but we have been close, like homies. I did her podcast and it was like, wait a minute. If you're close to somebody, you're friends. Mm. Yeah, what's she saying? Yeah. yeah. We were talking about yeah. having like a fun night. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so for her to go do all that shit, cause she, she was mocking, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I actually texted her. I just sent her. Oh, oh. Oh, mm -hmm. her own video, and I said LOL, and yeah. she just responded ha 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 ha. But I was like, "You just said LOL." I think that's what I said. Let's let me see. You didn't say what the f be at. I think it's just JoJo being like, "Give me my I, yeah. like." I saw this. Like, yeah, no, yeah, it's no, I hear locked, you. bitch. I oh, I said, I said, but her being ha 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 ha. I said ha, first ha. question no, second question what? yes. Ha ha ha. She responded ha ha ha. Yeah, that was but the thing. That was, how, <laughs> that was, how was she supposed to respond? <laughs> <laughs> Is, is like a dick hand I saw Tana tomorrow. Be like Tana, She's like Jojo, what's up? Yeah. But then to do that, I'm like, wait. It's just to get the views. That's why I appreciate that James reached out, being like, hey, do you care if I? And you, and like, but you don't. Why do you? Oh well, for God. me, I mean, look, that's. You, if, if, if you had a, I mean, she is complaining. It's just, she needs to get over herself. Like, what is this? I mean, it does. It does promote your song. Yep. James Charles does have a massive, massive platform. Following. Yeah. I mean, press is press, and I get it. But at some point, it might, like. You're putting your heart and your soul in this. You're literally paying for oh, it, doesn't it? Like it burns. It hurts a little. It bit. burns. It burns. Yesterday, nope, not yesterday. Day before. Day before, I was pretty upset about it. And then yesterday, I was fine all day. And then this morning, I was kind of a little again, like in a want want headspace. But I think that's just where I'm at physically right now. I'm just like keep it pushing. But then I looked online, and TMZ asked um, Gene Simmons what he thought of me, oh. and he gave a <laughs> gnarly response, coming to my defense, supporting me, saying that. 
people are hating because it's not ordinary, but I am extraordinary, and that is what. I love it. Like yep. the fact that sounds like a Gene Simmons thing to say, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna be supportive of those Gene Simmons. Oh yeah. So it's like as as <laughs> dick as people have been, Gene fucking Simmons. <laughs> that iconic. Like that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. You know what I mean? And he is right. I mean, you are right. People fear change. People aren't creative or interesting enough to... Ballsy enough. Or to, to come up with something original, like mocking someone. It's lazy. Not, it's not even comedy. It's just lazy. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, uh, but, I mean, look, you know, at the end of the day, talking about it. my song has gained so many creates daily on TikTok. The song charted before it's out. That doesn't happen. Like, there's so there's so many goods. The, the pre-save number is gnarly, apparently. I can't complain. I, I, I knew that I was asking for this. I honestly, I think that I didn't think it was going to be as successful as it is. I knew. Okay, girl. Well, let's talk yeah. about the success. All right. her, her head is blown all the way up, hasn't it? Like about the yeah. whole thing. So Karma was released by Brit Smith and it has entered the top 20 on US iTunes and number 17 <laughs> out peaking JoJo Siwa's version. Yeah! <laughs> Go, That's get hilarious. it! <laughs> That's so the funniest going, ending to all this. Yeah, she's just going, oh, screw it, release it. Go on, see how it goes. <laughs> and it outdid JoJo's. That's amazing. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> so the internet has won again, ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Yeah, it has. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I agree with y'all about the whole try hard thing, and and I mm. well, and I can definitely see where you two think she's trolling because she is trying so hard. It seems fake. Yeah, yeah. like she, this can't be just her real like goals and ambition. Like she really thinks this is gonna work. There's just no way. Yeah. 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 She thought she got something. No, I agree. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree. Um. Yeah. I. I Listen, this may end up being her way to break away from the kitty pop stuff she used to do. And you never know, like, three, four years from now, she's just going to be, like, not over the top like she is right now. She might be doing the over... That. Yeah, she might be doing the over the top like Miley did, like Britney did, but Britney didn't do it as bad. But like Miley did, Miley did the over the top, and then she came back down. You yeah, know? and that was so there's her something way to, to compare it to. Yeah, so she might three or four years from now come back down and go boom, she cut ties with Nickelodeon. The thing is, I think that people are only comparing her to those people because she's comparing herself to those people yeah. rather than saying, This is my own journey, this is how I'm doing things. Like, she's constantly name dropping and trying really hard to go, this is my Miley moment, this is my blah blah moment. But it's like, no, this should be just your own moment. Go about it how you would go about it. Don't she's try being so too hard. obvious about it. To me, yeah. she's being way too obvious about it because that's why I that's why I can understand y'all thinking it's fake because she's she's making it look like it's fake. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling but you, there three is or four still years the... from now, she's going to, three or four years from now, she's going to come down and she's going to be quote unquote normal. Yeah. Oh, but I still God. feel like there is still a chance that she is actually just very annoying. And like, oh, well, she's always been that. annoying. She's always yeah, been so annoying. Yeah, so I'm saying, like, always been like what, that. she just may never grow out of that and just be annoying. Like, as annoying as she is through this phase in her life, that just might be the level of annoying she's at right okay, now. Okay, fun fact I used to think Miley was annoying during their bangers era. What? Oh, yeah, I thought no. Miley was annoying as hell. Because I thought, no, I she, because I thought, because yeah. I was literally looking at Miley like she's trying too hard. Mm. I used to literally look at Miley and go, she is trying too hard. Way too hard. I can hard. see that. I can see that. Yeah. But I, I guess she knows when to pull it back. Well, she wasn't up her own ass that much. I no, know. Yeah, that's the I, difference. It, that's yeah, it the felt difference. more natural. Yes. She was actually difference. going buck wild like 18 year olds do, you know, and just graduate school and you can do yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah that's and what that's it exactly felt like. Yes, that's what it felt like, okay? That's exactly what yeah. it felt like. Where this one is it's, it's still a try hard, but it's like a fake try hard. Like, she's like yeah. letting everybody know she's being a try hard. Yeah. Yeah. 
I feel like she's still being a kid. Like she's still a child in that sense. Going, look at me, I'm grown up now. It's like, no, you, you don't just get to tell people I'm grown up. Like, you know, it's kind of just like, you have to actually put forth the actions to show that you have grown, you know? And I, I think it's just more immaturity than anything else. Like I agree. that's, that's everything that's putting forth right now. I feel like it's just really immature and just, yeah. Her I can't, personality I can't, is just yeah. gross to me. Yeah. Well, like just yeah. Oh, okay. She reminds me of. Um, have you ever watched um, uh, what the Wild Thornberries? Yeah, yeah. You know that like that that little kid Donnie. He's like. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's her. That's her to me. Like, yes. it's a whirlwind of everything coming out at once. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, she's just too much. And I, I really mm. think that's just her personality. It's just too yeah. much. Uh-huh. Well, she's always been too much. Oh, yeah. God, even on Dance Moms, I'm like, I felt sorry yes. for her at some points, but then I was like, oh, God, she's so annoying. And her mother's annoying, She's so too. annoying. Thank Ugh. you. Okay. I felt bad for thinking no. she was so no, no, annoying when no. she was, but she got on nope. my nerves so bad. Nope. She used to get on my nerves, too. She used to get on my nerves, too. And, then and when... I'm sorry. Go ahead. When you see her whole family laid out, I... They all look alike, except for the dad. He's just over there to the side. Yeah, but I mean, like, they, they the all got that. Yeah, the same nose, mouth. Like, you know, thing, their, yeah. their gums are so dry. Like, none <laughs> of them can shut their mouths. Like, just... Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. All right, anything oh, else that. before we get out of here? I got nothing. None. No, I think we said all we needed to say. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for watching this episode of the broadcast. Um, I've had to live through this JoJo Siwa stuff. So guess what, guys? So do you. All right. Yep. Thanks very much. <laughs> You're <All right>. welcome. Karma's <laughs> a bitch. I know that's right. And it hit me today with this subject. No, but actually, it's it's actually really interesting to see what Miley did, to live through what Brittany did, and then now seeing what JoJo is doing, and it's like, JoJo, you're not going about this right. You're, mm. you, it's just, girl, girl, you're, you're being annoying, as Bunny and I would say. She's being annoying. Mm -hmm. Her usual annoying self. All right, well, thank you for watching this yep. uh, episode of the broadcast. Ladies, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. everybody. Oh, God, you too. Goodbye. <laughs> <sighs> it did look like she might have had a carabiner on her keychain. She might be qualified. All Where's right. The <laughs> it's the little, the little clips that you, I think they use them in like rock climbing, but like lesbians always have a bunch of carabiners on their, on their britches with a bunch of keys. <laughs>